Yeah, those church offices were in the second floor of the strip mall behind me. Last month, the feds froze the church's assets and appointed a receiver to try and find and help victims. So far, attorneys say they have located 442 victims who together might have lost as much as $37 million. Our new mutual giving fund. Our mutual giving fund is very unique. Unique is one word for it. The feds call it illegal. The Securities and Exchange Commission has filed a civil suit charging the two pastors of Church for the Healthy Self with fraud, saying they were running a scheme out of this Westminster storefront targeting the Vietnamese community. Tonight, it's locked up. A notice announcing the church is under the control of a court appointed receiver. Boots, scooters, and furniture visibly labeled for auction as attorneys try to recoup what victims lost. Reverend Kent Whitney, seen in these YouTube videos. So please, once again, continue to send in your prayer request. Made pitches for prayers and allegedly cash, using Facebook and YouTube to connect with the faithful. According to the SEC filing, he and Pastor David Lee Parrish promised investors returns of up to 43%, guaranteed, insured, and tax deductible through investments in the reinsurance industry. Instead, agents say they were funding lavish lifestyles with designer clothing, cars, and big houses. From January 2018 to February 2019, the suit says the two deposited at least $25 million in CHS accounts. I don't know if many of you know this, but my background was in the financial service industry. What Whitney neglected to mention was his background as an ex-con. According to court documents, he co-founded the church three months after getting out of prison for, get this, defrauding investors in a scheme he ran with Parrish. Attorneys say it will take a while for victims to get any money back, and they should not expect to get anything close to what they gave up. We are live in Westminster tonight. I'm Lori Perez. Back to you.